Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of communication, success, and motivation. Today will be the second of the 2024 Feng Shui auspicious and inauspicious sector. I'll be talking about the inauspicious sectors or the unlucky sectors which you need to either avoid or protect yourself against if you have no choice but to use that particular area on how to protect yourself, your loved ones and have a smooth sailing luck. Even though when I forecasted for the various different animal horoscopes, you have great stars, these inauspicious sectors, especially later on when I talked about where the Tai Shui, Tree Killings and Misfortune areas are, please do be careful and take note of where they are and what you need to do as well. So before I move on to the next segment and share more with you, I would also like to share that I will be creating a series specifically for those different day masters on what period 9 will have in terms of an impact on them and what they can do to basically make sure that they succeed in period 9 for the next 20 years. And that series will probably start mid or end February. I will basically post it on my community post. So do take note of when I will start to share those videos itself. Without further ado, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share more of what you can do to protect yourself, your loved ones in this new year of 2024, the Youngwood Dragon. Hi, welcome to this segment where I'll share about 2024 in auspicious sectors. Now, if you have missed my previous episode where I talked about the lucky sectors or auspicious sectors for 2024, how to determine the sectors you're facing direction, please click on this link here and watch this particular video before you watch the 2024 in auspicious sectors. Here is just a quick recap of how you can identify the sectors. If you're not sure what is the sector within your home, you can take a compass, stand in the middle of your home as shown in this particular case to see where north points to and then plonk in all the various different sectors to identify the sectors within your home. Now let's take a look at what are the inauspicious sectors in 2024. The inauspicious sectors, the worst one is actually the misfortune five yellow star which will be in the west and I will cover on how to handle this later on and then when we look at the accident star it will be in the south in 2024. Quarrelsome star is in the center that's why it will affect everyone in the family and if you look at from the world stage itself it is already impacting the countries within the Middle East itself and then you also have the illness now which is in the Southeast. So this is how it will look like if you actually put in all the various different sectors and then put in all the different flying stars within the home. I will then basically talk about how to handle these particular inauspicious stars if it happens to be a key sector within your home, be it your main entrance or your bedroom later on. Before we do that, I'd like to talk a little bit about the five element cycle. So last week, I talked about the productive cycle, which basically enhances the sector itself. You usually use this when you want to enhance or activate the sector. So for instance, when we talk about water producing wood, if you are looking at the east sector and you're trying to activate the east sector, it is actually great to have a water feature there. That's what it means by water producing wood, provided if you place the water feature there, it is not your bedroom, the kitchen or the toilet because those are places that are not suitable to have a young water feature as in a water feature that actually has activities. Now for today's session, we'll basically talk about the other two cycles within the five elements. So the first one is the exhaustive cycle. Most times I prefer to use this exhaustive cycle when handling the inauspicious sectors. Meaning, for instance, when we look at a star that is actually of uh, earth nature, like the misfortune fire yellow star or the illness star, since it's earth, I like to exhaust the earth energies within that particular sector itself by using a lot of metal. Therefore, placing items that are made of metal, it could be dumbbells, it could be weights, it could be placement of items that are quite silver gold in colour. So that's basically the exhaustive cycle of metal exhausting earth. 
Then if it is an accident star, then it will be the water element exhausting the metal element of the accident star. Then if it is water, it will be wood that is exhausting as well as if it is wood, then fire will exhaust wood and if it is fire, earth will exhaust fire itself. So that's how you utilize the exhaustive cycle. I will cover a little bit more when we talk about the individual inauspicious stars later on. And the other cycle, unless necessary, and I find that maybe the inauspicious energies or afflicted energies are too strong, that's when I will utilize the destructive cycle. So what's the destructive cycle? Water dousing fire. That's the destructive cycle. Fire melting metal, metal chopping wood, wood exhausting or destroying earth, just like in a paddy field. Usually when you plant lots of plants after that, the entire piece of earth cannot really be utilized. Earth will then destroy water. So that's basically the destructive cycle. So let's take a look at the individual sectors within the home. In this case, the worst set of star is the Misfortune 5 yellow star, which is situated in the west this year. And this is actually part of two parts of the sectors of the bedrooms as can be seen highlighted in this picture. So in this particular area itself, because the Misfortune 5 yellow star is of the earth element, make sure you do not have any items that is actually making the Misfortune 5 yellow earth star stronger. Strong lighting, fire colors, or any crystals that will make it stronger. What you want to do here is actually add a lot of metal, especially if it's an area that you utilize a lot. So you can use dumbbells, you can use objects that are in white silver gold. And if you like to, I'll be placing links within the video description itself because quite a bit of my clients prefer to use kiosks. Those kiosks will be suggested in the link that I have in the video description. Now, then, the next one that we want to look at is actually the accident star. So accident star in this case is part of the living room. So if everyone is going to utilize this particular room, then ensuring that you do not have items that will make it this afflicted accident star stronger is crucial. So the seven accident star is the metal star. Metal star is basically enhanced or make stronger by the earth element so no crystals in this particular area is also made stronger by anything that is metallic therefore what you want is a lot of water elements whether it's the colors of blue black gray or whether is a in water feature if you would like to if you spend a lot of time in the south sector this year i think it's then crucial that you ensure that whatever that you do, you are careful because the seven accident star usually causes people to be a bit more aggressive and careless, therefore they get into accidents or fights itself. The next star is the number three quarrelsome star, which is in the center of every home and office this year. With the extremely young energy covered in my 2024 first video on 2024 forecast series, if you have not watched that video, click on this link to find out more. Basically what you are seeing is a lot of young energy within this year's Fasa chart coupled with the number three argumentative energies. You see a lot of aggression, a lot of disagreements, a lot of unsettled disputes or unhappiness in the world as well as at home. So this is one year that if you are easily triggered, it is important that you do not immediately react to a situation rather take a few deep breaths stay calm and then think through before you actually respond so that you will not regret the consequences itself now the three star is not difficult to minimize in terms of energy its element is wood so all you need to do is have lots of red within the central sector in the new year except for chinese new year where the monthly misfortune star has also gone into the center of the Luo Shu flying star chart for 2024. Before I go on to the next sector, three star can be used from a perspective if you have someone within your home who's not competitive enough, especially in studies. So if you want someone who is not very competitive, not sure where they want to go and would like them to be more competitive, then having your child or the person utilizing the center 
of the entire home or office would be great. However, just note that they would be a tad more argumentative with you in this new year. Now, the next sector is that of the illness sector number two. In this case, the two star is actually situated within the dining area. So if you are not really going to spend a lot of time there, it's not going to create a lot of issues. But similarly, if you have an elderly at home, the southeast is actually part of the bedroom or a key area that you utilize. Usually utilizing it a lot if you are younger, basically the two illness stars just makes you more lethargic. But if you are an elderly, it can cause some issues, especially because Southeast is also the Tai Shui area in 2024. And what you want to do for the illness star, because it's also an earth element star, similarly, you will not want to put on a lot of lighting, have a lot of red, have a lot of crystals, all the fire and earth elements that will cause it to be worse. You want to use a lot of metal in terms of the colors of white silver gold or metallic items, dumbbells or cures that are metal. That's how you will basically suppress the energies within the Southeast sector itself. If you look at the number of sectors that are inauspicious, every house, every home would be. So, so long as you don't spend too much time there, usually the energies will not really disturb you that much. Now, the next thing I would like to talk about is three crucial sectors that you should not do cutting, knocking and drooling in the year 2024. And what are these sectors? The first one is the Misfortune 5 Yellow Sector. So this Misfortune 5 Yellow Sector, what I've noticed over the years with many of my clients, if they are unaware, they start to knock, dig or drill, misfortune or unexpected illnesses, will usually happen. So that's one key area besides not actually utilizing that area itself or not having the elements to make it more afflicted in the new year. It is crucial not to do knocking, drilling, renovation in this area. Then the other one is Tai Shui. The Grand Duke Jupiter is in Southeast one this year within the degrees of 112.6 to 127.5 degrees. And within this first Southeast sector, please do not do knocking, cutting, drilling. And there's a Chinese saying that says, we are in Tai Shui Tou Sang Dong Tu. And that's what it means. Basically, knocking, drilling, and cutting in those areas, including cutting papers, if it's your kitchen, cutting of vegetables, preparing your food, and it will lead to misfortune and unexpected events that you do not want happening. Now, if it is your kitchen, please do not post a comment and ask, is my kitchen, what do I do? Find a way, do not cut in the Southeast One sector itself. I'm producing this video. I hope that you understand to educate and help as many people as I can. But because this is really my peak season, you will notice that I have not been answering any comments. I appreciate and thank you all for watching my video. But I really do have limited time. I'm trying to do this so that I can basically benefit and all of us will be safe, happy and healthy going into this new year itself. So the third sector then, that I'd like to talk about that you should not do knocking, cutting, drilling is the tree killing sector, which will be in the south. So tree killings basically has two different things. One, it's basically you do not sit facing north because you have the south behind your back. Why is this the case? Then you have the tree killings. Usually it leads to basically loss of good reputation, people backstabbing behind you. But if you dig, knock or renovate in the tree killing sector, usually it's similar events where there are misfortune, unexpected loss of wealth, unexpected events that you don't want to happen. And these three areas, the misfortune five yellow tree killings and Tai Shui, through experience from clients or even myself when I'm not careful, Usually what will happen is three bad things or three unfortunate things will happen within two weeks of you touching it. There are clients who ask, what do I do once I touch it? That's really nothing very much you can do. Just hope that it's not a very serious incident. Usually it's not too serious unless you do knocking, cutting, drilling every single day all the time. Then it becomes a major, major issue. This is where I would like to say Happy New Year, Gong Si Fa Cai, because this will be the last video episode that I will share before the Chinese New Year. And as mentioned earlier on, I will be sharing about what 
each of the day master in terms of our elements can do in period 9 in the next 20 years such that we can have success especially from a wealth and career perspective in the 20 years ahead. I hope you have enjoyed this particular video and the 2024 Feng Shui series as well as the Animal Horoscope series Gong Si Fa Cai Wan Shi Ru Yi Hope you have a happy, harmonious, healthy New Year I'll see you after Chinese New Year Goodbye